Hey, welcome to Hack a Week, another episode with the Mini Cooper S. This episode, we're going to tackle the non working switch on the back of the hatch here. It'll open with the key fob, so the mechanism is okay, but what wears out on these is the little teeny switch right here. And it's covered with a little rubber diaphragm and a kind of a big piece of plastic that pushes on the switch. With time, that switch wears out. This one is in pieces. So let me show you how to take this out. And you can easily salvage a switch or buy a brand new one and put it back in there and at least get your working mechanism going again. Covering it back up with rubber, we'll deal with that as we go. But mainly what we're after now is to see if we can fix the switch. And uh, just to show you that it does work, it will open with the key fob. So here we are with the hatch. There's the cover for the switch and the license plate lights. And there are four T20 screws that hold it in. Let's pull those out and then we can pull that whole thing down, unplug it and take a look at it. And off it comes. Now we'll get in closer and I'll show you the uh, electrical connection that needs to be disconnected. There's the electrical connector for everything back here. It'll come apart between the big portion and this small section. This small section is actually the jack. There we go. That's out. Now we can see what's going on in here. Okay, we're here at the electronics bench now. Uh, there's the switch. It's just a simple momentary contact tiny little switch. And it solders on there with four connections. I think I could probably heat up each one of those and uh, be able to pop that out of there right where it sits without taking this entire thing all apart. So I'm going to give that a shot first. Let's try to get these back two to pop out first. Well, I got the switch off. I don't know if I'm going to be able to push the switch all the way back through those holes, but if I can just get it to solder in place, then I have a useful switch. That simple. So useful switches. This is off from, I think, a Sony uh, CD player, maybe something like that. But there's lots of little switches all over uh, light duty all the way to these big monster heavy duty ones, which if I could hack that into there, it would be a pretty cool upgrade because that's a nice Ooh, that one's even better. It's just a nice flat face on that one. Hmm. So I uh, salvaged one of these. Maybe I can get this to work in there. It's a nice flat surface one. I like it. So first I gotta figure out which way the current flows through this thing. Okay. Get just one side soldered in place. extend the wire a bit. With the help of a little jumper wire I got that big switch in there. I soldered it at uh, that corner and then uh, from up here at the top I ran a wire diagonal across that way to the other terminal, soldered it up. Let's go test it. Okay I just checked the car. It's totally unlocked everywhere so I should be able to hook this up if the switch works. When I push on it it will pop the trunk latch open. Uh, how about that? works. Yippee! Now we need to glue this in place because it's kind of just floating around in there. And then maybe we'll see what we can do about covering this with some kind of a, a rubber diaphragm again. Or not. I don't know. i got to figure something out. <clears throat> well, i got some red leather here. I'm going to stick this on here. Leave it a little bit large. And cut it out. Okay, let's see how this fits. Good. 3M weather strip adhesive. Man, I can't tell you how much I love this stuff. What is this? Uh, 
black super weather strip and gasket adhesive I love it anyway gonna put some on here to glue that leather in place all the way around the perimeter of this hole okay let's try sticking this in place carefully There we go. I blacked it out. Blacked it out with some uh, plastic dip. Kind of doing that to a lot of parts in the car. That's another video. Anyway, let's plug this in. Give it a test. Test push here. Okay, shut it. Yes, indeed, it works. So now we can go ahead and put it up there with the screws. Four torque screws to hold the thing back in place. Last one. Well, nice little project there. I like the look of this blacked out stuff. I'm gonna do some more of it tastefully, mind you. There we go. The hatchback is working again. So you can buy one of those switches uh, Try like Allied Electronics, Circuit Specialist. Um, there's a few more. I'll put some links to some of my suppliers. Tata Electronics, maybe, or salvage them. They're uh, they were popular in old VCRs all over the front circuit board in VCRs. You can find those cheap in Goodwill, Habitat for Humanity, places like that, and tear them apart. There's those little switches in there, and they work just fine. That does the trick. Beats the heck out of uh, the alternative, which is buying this whole assembly. I guess um, that's what I've read on the forums, anyway. So, plus we're styling with the red leather in there. All right, well, there you go. That's another how-to. Till next time.